Hello everybody, Digfig here, and welcome back to some more Horizon Zero Dawn. We left off having just killed this Harbinger thingy of doom. This pretty old robot and tried to whoop my ass, but I whooped his. Quite easily, actually. And we need to move up in this tower. It's tight, but I can squeeze... <laughs> well, you can squeeze through, can you? Oh boy. Oh, for I tend to scan. Oh, one of these again. Access granted. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. Please step inside. All oh, her curiosity going nuts right now. Wait, now I'm like super interested. Automated solution, search for information. Okay. Dr. Sobek, you are 355,510 days overdue for your meeting with Mr. Fairley. Please proceed to the 35th floor. Wait, wait, wait. 350,000. That's hundreds of years ago. How far What's is that? 350,000 years? Is that what that number was? What? Three hundred fifty thousand divided by three hundred and sixty is almost a thousand years. That can't be right. Was it thirty-five thousand? Bad with numbers. It happens. Like ninety-seven years. I guess for a civilization to have devolved as far as it had, it would have to be the first almost a thousand years old right there's no yeah that's crazy holy shit i love that it still knows i have an appointment too wow that's nuts um came down here this way is a dead end The fact that anything, yeah, and I mean with the degradation, the stalagmites, like yeah, it's probably been a thousand fucking years since all this shit ran. It's just so nuts. But again, the fact that these consoles and stuff still work. I wonder if all the data is stored in the eyepiece or in a thing that the eyepiece is connected to and these screens just display codes. Or have like RFID chips in them that this thing scans and then it knows what to display on the quote unquote screen even though there is no power or anything in these places. I bet that's how this stuff would work in real life to still be running after a thousand years, right? I mean obviously the door system and all that stuff still has power. But I mean they're emitting light. But when I don't have the focus they're not. So that's weird too that it like artificially lights around them. I can't remember if I, ha I did or didn't when I had the focus on. I'd have on. to ditch something. Now I want to take the focus off. Let's see if these emit lights so I can try and figure out how they function. The protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms, quantum encryption, black quartz stuff, way beyond military grade. That's what you demanded. So that's what we delivered. You don't code something you can't crack. All we need is a backdoor. Upload the latest service pack update and the problem goes away. You specifically forbade us from leaving anything resembling a backdoor in code. Every protocol to Black Quartz standard. Your words. So codes. They needed codes of some kind to control the machines. But they got out of 
of control. Sounds bad. It's bad. It's very bad. Programming machines without any way to control them. As far as humans are concerned and our paranoia is a terrible fucking idea. Go forward is a dead end. Definitely gonna hit forward. Supply crate. Um, let's see any audio logs in here? Question marks. It's like servers. It's kind of what these look like, or data centers of some sort. Ugh, getting around some things in this game. Again, don't see anything. One more final check. You hit my keyboard with the mouse. Yeah, nothing. Okay. So I came in. That's why it was dead end also, and this is the way I'm supposed to go. Yep. A deathbringer. Or a statue of one, anyway. A machine built to kill. And they honored it? Welcome to Feral Automated Solutions, where all the problems of tomorrow are being solved today. With over 25,000 human employees based in nations and corporate holdings across the globe, Feral leads the world in every sector of self-sustaining, fully automated technology. From revolutionary consumer products close to home, like the Feral Focus, to the dynamic chariot line of peacekeeping robots halting bloodshed in conflict zones across the globe, Pharaoh remains committed to making the future smarter, brighter, safer, and always surprising. Pharaoh Automated Solutions. For every problem of life, a smart solution. So they made the focus. 25,000 people? That's bigger than a tribe. So they made machines and... Devices. I guess those things were common in their world. Probably. Definitely getting the whole Terminator vibe here. Welcome to Feral Automated oh, Solutions. Restart that message. Well, thank you. Recipient's log. Field Commandant Dang of Indio. Melee Agricultural Carbine arrived with his delegation refreshments to be served before 10 15 a.m. sales uh, presentation on the chariot line per instructions. Food will be vegetarian only. Sanders Agnew, Vice President of Territorial Integrity. Integrate? No. Yeah, it's Integrity Forum. Fresh Grounds Coffee Global arrived this. Wow. Arrived with his entourage. Refreshments to be served before their 10 30 a.m. sales presentation on the chariot line. Per instructions, use Fresh Grounds. Takamo Blend. No, no artificial creamers. 10 12. Uh, so that happened. Called security and janitorial to clean up the coffee that was spilled. Actually, more like thrown. I wasn't aware that Indigo May Combine grows coffee beans and that Fresh Grounds acquisition teams has tried to take their fields by forcing, by force repeated, repeatedly. Ooh, I think Combat and Dang and Andrew by the hair of this stuff for a second there. Who schedules these things? I'm going to drop a line to sales. This can't happen again. That was hard. I've been up too long. And I'm not in good bed anyways. Yeah, see? Hello, Yodin. I'm tired. And after this episode, I'm going to go to bed. What? wants me to go up here. Then it wants me to get in here. What there was this go. place? What were they doing here? It was a corporation. A group of people not unlike a tribe. And they made machines. Yeah, go on. I've uploaded some data files to your focus. 
they'll help you understand. History fast. Oh boy. Fair Automation Solutions, FAS, is an American multinational corporation entity with products, robots for all walks of life. So she wouldn't know what America multi institutional corporation entity is. She would know the robots. Business consultants of military and defense contracts. As of 2063, FAS has ranked number one among the Fortune 5 by gross revenue. She wouldn't know any of that stuff. In profit for 10 years, she might know that one. In a row, a world record. Founded in 2033. Wow. By Theodore Ted Faro, the entrepreneur from Salt Lake City, Utah. The company developed several promising robot prototypes in its early years, but failed to break into markets dominated by their industry giants like... General Synthetics and Rec Corp. This changed in 2038 with the debut of the At Lafir line of Leviathan personal servitors, which generated un uh, exceptional sales, lifting the company into the Fortune 50 for the first time. Profits tripled in the 2040s as the company's environmental efforts, led by famed engineer Elizabeth Sobek. That's me. Categorized FAS to the head of this. I wonder if I'm a clone. I might be a clone. That would make more sense due to my genetic match. I'm probably a clone. A led by family engineer, led by uh, catapulted FAS to the head of that sector in 2049 in the wake of successful green and climate cleaning efforts around the globe. Worldwide approval ratings of the FAS exceeded 90% and founder Ted Fargo was hailed across the media and social networks as the man who saved the world. Yet it was the emergence of FAS as a military contractor in the late 2040s that cemented its status as the world's wealthiest corporation with a record market capital of over $23 trillion. Damn, that's a lot of money. By 2055, FAS controlled 61% of the market share for automated military platforms holding contracts with 353 nations. Holy crap, that is so many nations to supply weapons to. You'd have to be doing both sides and everything. Typical arms dealers. Trans government organizations and corporate entities. Today, its holdings exceed the second largest corporation. FB Mobaha Global by 321%. That is a huge ass company. Damn. Okay, thank you for the giant history back vlog, I guess. I appreciate it. Don't see anything in that room. Hasn't been anything I missed, right? Go to the Ted Fargo's office. This is where I came from, right? I'm confused. The Ted Fargo office above me? Is that what the deal is? That's not a door. I thought that was a door. Not seeing any data logs or anything in here. No scout. Well, here's one. Now, I know this must seem like a bizarre change in direction. I mean, we're Faro Automated Solutions, right? Number one robotics firm in the world. Why would we clear our production slate to fabricate human-operated vehicles and weapon systems, the relics of the past? All I can say at this juncture is... Trust me, we will be exploiting a massive, uh growth opportunity by retooling and reallocating capacity according to my plan. So I will need revised projections of mass fabrication velocity across every pipeline within 36 hours. So they were making machines, then they stopped to make other kinds of weapons? Why? Because war with the machines is coming. And if the machines are our only weapons, we don't stand a chance to fight back. That's why. Guarantee you. It's smart, too. Make a threat and then sell the weapons to the threat. The air. 
There's no smell to it. Not even old death. Nothing natural. I bet this is going to be a case of they tried to create a war, supply weapons to the humans and the robots. Trying came out ahead and it failed miserably. What? Did I just drop out of here? Where did I just sneak off to? Bye, crate. I can't spare the weight. You can spare the weight. It's just your pouch is BS and has like organized slots in it. All that's down here, really? Just a supply crate. Hmm. Okay then, game. Get me down. Here. Let's sneak through that. Oh, fine. Another cave in. But I could get through. Point. Hey, reception, is that your real name? Want to know who's scheduled Indigo Melee right next to Fresh Grounds? That would be me, Senior VP of Sales. Want to know why after the little hair pulling incidents? Will both sides increase their bids by 40%? I'll explain because your receptionist level brain probably requires it. Those are two sides are fighting. And what do we sell? That's right, combat machines. We want them to hate each other so they will try and fight each other with what? That's again, that's right again, combat machines, which is why they will pay us a lot of money for. So I suggest you go back to serving coffee with a blank smile and let me do as much as... Bless me. Managed to mute the mic though. I suggest you go back to serving coffee with a blank smile and let me do my much more complicated job. You are a dick. Those are lives on the line. That is violence. That is aggressive. That is fucked up. That is warmongering. Fine. Yep, they definitely fucking started a war with humans to sell weapons to both sides. And then it did not go as they planned. I almost guarantee that's this thing. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe an AI became sentient or something and they knew it was going to control. Well, oh, that made me startled. Ah, touche. Yeah, jump scare game. I can definitely go that way. We'll go down the ramp here. I know we want to go up. So we're going to go up. Looks that like really did startle me. Um, yes, you can climb here. Can you just skip a step? Yes, you can. Okay. Um, supply crate. Oh, do I not even need to be over here? I need to go the other way. Is that what the deal is here? Do I get to the other side? Oh. We're doing the whole climb around thing. It's doing anything normally. Thousand years old, this stuff, man. I don't know what materials or metals they use to make all this crap. Thousand years. A lot of structures and stuff. What's left of it? Wouldn't even function after like a hundred years. Never mind. Thousand years. I guess we'll start with the big room. Fancy, fancy room. Hollow projector, hollow projector, there's only three hollow projectors. The FSP5 Kopesh provides a one size fits all solution to me. No, oh, I wanted to listen to you. The FSP5 Kopesh provides a one size fits all solution to main battle force capability. Metamaterial construction delivers unmatched recoil dampening allowing you to field any weapon package that conforms to your budget needs and conflict resolution profile. Patented biomass conversion systems allow extended emergency operations with minimal environmental impact. 
Multilinear target processing provides simultaneous real-time threat analysis and legal review for autonomous domestic operations. Or, control can be slaved to the swarm's neural network for weapons-free force application. Either way, when it's time to call out the big guns, it's time to call Kopesh. The Deathbringer. So this was the heavy hitter. Main battle force indeed. I don't know. It's just a thing about weapons companies. Like, I like them, I respect them, I... They do good, but they also, like, it's just a fucked up thing to perpetuate. But if you don't do it, someone else is gonna do it, but... Ah. Same machine, same thing. The BOR-7 Horus. Oh. Imagine your complete engagement ecosystem comprehensively managed by a high-speed learning machine network. Whether your need is to replace battlefield losses or intensify force projection, the Horus' onboard manufacturing capabilities mean you'll never get stuck waiting for the next arms delivery. Simply redefine your force parameters, and the Horus will fabricate additional units to fill the ranks for an affordable per-unit licensing fee. Meanwhile, the biomass conversion systems of other chariot line models allow them to keep the Horus fueled, repaired, and ready. Extending its operational tolerances beyond that of any competing Titan class platform. That's the Horus advantage. Always regulating, always ready. The future of automated warfare made real today. The Metal Devil. So these were Faro machines too. Manufacturing capabilities. They can make more of themselves. Then how would you ever stop them? Hence the problem, and why you shouldn't ever make self-replicating machines. Didn't look like the Metal Devil though, but... Huge, whatever they are. The ACA-3 Scarab combines conventional and information warfare capabilities in one package. Designed for high-speed, all-terrain reconnaissance. It boasts the world's highest survivability rating of any Scout-class autonomous agent. Maybe it's the Scarab's emergency biomass conversion systems that ensure it always makes it back to base, even if fuel supply lines have been interdicted. Or maybe it's the Scarab's ability to slave enemy robots to its own network. Now that's force multiplication. Add a prehensile manipulator arm that can handle a host of functions, from 360 degree less lethal riot management to surgical repairs of allied chariot line models and you've got the workhorse of any cutting-edge peacekeeping fleet. The Corruptor. Explains that. Slave robots to its own network. It sounds like it's talking about how it corrupts machines. Yeah. You're putting the pieces together. Still fucking terrifying. Uh, I want to go this way. More rooms. Chest. Um. Either way, everyone, we are out of time for this episode. I really do appreciate y'all stopping by. I love this stuff. I, I'm super interested in people's creativeness, their how they see the future, how they take humanity, imagine where we're going, things that make sense, if they do make sense, how wars could happen, technology to fight wars. How, what systems you would need. It's just an amazing thing that people sat down, created all this, thought about it. And I love adventuring down someone else's creative world path. I really do. I love this lore stuff. I love the exploring, the sci-fi. It's it's just it's fantastic. And I, I, oof, I'm happy. I'm excited for this game. I knew I was going to say I was going to go to bed after this episode, but we're recording another one because I am just like, ugh, gotta know. Either way, everyone, I will see you in the next episode. Dig fig out. Click on the cards. Do all that stuff. Check out all the content. It'd be a huge help to me. Thank you, guys.